You are listening to selfdiscoverymedia.com, where illumination and inspiration is but a click away. With so many genre topics for you on everything that you need to know in life, we celebrate and share the people who have taken the journey before you and who are now here to serve you with their wisdom and their knowledge. The next show coming up is... Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome to selfdiscoverymedia.com. I'm your host, Sarah Troy, and this is 2020 Pearls of Vision. Well, 2020 has started off not necessarily on a good foot. War proposed from America, Australia burning, and so many animals and people's loss. But should we be daunted by the things that are raising up before us? Or should we be propelling forward thoughts of positivity, of love, of kindness, so that we can shift that vibration, that frequency onto a different level? Kindness is something that we're seeing a great deal of mentioned in social media. Kindness should be something that's within us all the time. When we show compassion, consideration, caringness, kindness towards people, we are actually engaging in the act of love. You see, judgment for so long has ruled. This condemnation of somebody because you don't know what they're going through. You, you know, you can condemn the act, absolutely. If they've done something that's bad or horrific, yes. But why? Why have they done it? That is always the big question. Having done quite a number of shows on narcissism and, and other psychological behaviors, entitlement, which comes from narcissism, one of the things that I've understood is that the way we are brought up, the way we perceive life is the way we're going to interact with life. So if we've brought up, been brought up not to care, not to show kindness, only to think of ourselves, us, me, myself, number one, then that is, that's what we're going to have to think about. And everybody else is at our disposal. We don't care who we walk over, who we hurt, as long as we're all right, Jack. We, that kind of thinking has to go. But it has to be taught right from the level. For the child in the womb, as the child grows, show it compassion. Teach it compassion. Teach it love. Yes, we see children today who are incredibly compassionate, who are incredibly giving. And that's something that can be innate in them. It could be something they pick up from their parents, could be part of their wonderful DNA. But we see a lot of other children, and this is how children survive. They cry when they're hungry, or they're wet, or they're tired, or they need something. All they're thinking of as babies is themselves and their own survival. Quite natural. Absolutely. But as they get to that stage of beginning to play with toys or interacting with animals or other people, teach them to be kind. Literally show the hand on how to do a soft touch, how to pet the dog or the cat gently, how to share their toys with other people. <clears throat> Kindness, compassion, consideration, caringness is something taught right from the word go. But if you are a person that wasn't shown it, that doesn't mean you can't show it now. If you decide to step into that world of kindness, caringness and compassion, and decide that you're going to give it to someone else, volunteer somewhere, somebody you know, a neighbor, a friend, a colleague at work, and you start showing those acts of kindness and compassion, you will see how it's received. You will see how it's embraced. You will see how warm it makes you feel, how good you feel about yourself. And the more you give, the more you will receive in gratitude, and the more it will make you feel good. That kind of cycle is what we're hoping to see in this year of 2020. The more of that giving, that kindness, that warm, fuzzy feeling of caring for someone else. We still have politicians that are only out for themselves and their own glory and their own ego, their own profit. <clears throat> After all, a war you know, certainly puts money in certain people's profit, uh, pockets, but they really don't care how many people have to die for it. 
we have got to a stage in life where we don't want to see the gun come out to resolve the solution. We want to see negotiation. We want to see conversation. Every single country is trying to survive. What is the enemy right now? Well, it is the environment. Why is it the enemy? Part of it is, is the earth cycle. Part of it is what we're doing to it. So it's up to us. It is up to us to say, let's put aside our differences. We are all residents here on earth. Let us get together and find the solution. What can we do to not be the problem? What can we do to find the solution? And believe me, there are so many innovative solutions out there right now. Government's got to get out of its own proverbial us, and they have to let go of their own ego, their own security of their lifetime of money coming in, and they have to put the people first. People, planet, before profit. So demand kindness from yourself. Demand kindness from other people. If people are behaving in a nasty manner to you, literally say, when your tone changes, when your verbiage changes, when your persona changes, I will interact with you. But this, I will have nothing to do. If you wish to talk, then let us talk kindly to one another. Let us let judgment go. Let us let fear go. Let us let hate go. This 2020 is going to be a magnificent year if we participate in it. It is going to be a year that is going to open us up. It's going to propel us forward. It's going to be a massive year of change and it can be positive change. The seeds have been planted. They are being watered. Be a part of that growth. For it's not the politicians or, or the scholars or the, anybody else's duty. It's ours. What is your participation in this 2020 to make this a great year? What is your gift that you're bringing to the table that will contribute? And if you don't know what it is right now, start off with kindness and caring towards others. Start off with volunteering. Start off with caring about what's going on around you. There will be something that will speak to you and go, oh, I can be a part of this. I can contribute to this. This speaks to me. So what are you going to participate in this year? What kindness and caring and love are you going to do this year? How are you going to propel other people forward? How are you going to be a part of the solution? I do believe 2020 is a turning point year. Yes, it's an election year in America and it's a significant one because the whole world is watching and my God, it's change needed. But we need to see people come into power, not for power's sake, but for people, people's sake life stake, all living creatures and this living planet. If we wish to stay here and not be part of those Armageddon movies going off to another planet to destroy that, if we don't want that scenario, then we've got to, got to this year, get on with it, participate, step into kindness, care, Care what's happening around you. Care that someone's hurt. Care the fires are burning. Care that war is being declared. Care that someone's hurting around you. Someone's without a job. Somebody hasn't got food. Somebody hasn't got shelter. Care. And then ask yourself, what can I do to relieve the situation? I don't care how big or small it is. I don't care how rich or poor you are. We can all do something. We can all do something. Every single drop counts. Every single drop of kindness, of caringness, of participation, of being part of that solution fills that bucket. And it overflows, feeding and seeding and watering and allowing growth of kindness to grow. So, my dear people, 
2020 Words of Wisdom has been brought to you by Sarah Dory, Self Discovery Media, and my up and coming new site, Discovering Communities, which will be out at the end of January. Discoveringcommunities.org. Not there yet, but that's going to bring you the people that do already care. It's going to bring you the people that have the tools, the skills, the passion, the conviction to help you in your own self discovery. It's going to help you find that beautiful instrument you are, that gift that you are. And then when you step into that gift, that beautiful instrument, and you learn to play it, then you can join the orchestra. On in that orchestra, resonate out with such beautiful, abundant music that it invites others to step up in their own self discovery. We are the solution. Let us stop being the problem. Let's feed the kindness, the caringness, the participation, the love. I wish for every single one of you this year that kindness, caring, and love find their way to you. May it be abundant within you so that it runneth over. May you be enriched with it. May your health and your wealth grow because of it. And may your participation in healing this planet and all inhabitants on it grow. Happy New Year. May 2020 be the year of positive change. Until next time, bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. To find many more shows of inspiration, please go to selfdiscoverymedia.com, podcasts, and you will see an array of shows to choose from please do visit our www.discoveringcommunities.org and see what else that we have in store for you. Do enjoy our next show.